the Tamil Nadu State Election Commission has finally announced the dates for the urban local body polls. The elections were last held in 2011 and the tenure of the elected bodies expired in December 2016. Though the local bodies play a crucial role in implementing schemes of state and central governments, very less powers are being vested on them, limiting their participation in grassroots democracy. Newsclick spoke to MD Deva Sahai, former IAS officer, on the reforms needed to empower the local bodies. So to begin with, the urban local bodies are delayed by almost 60 years. So in this period of time, we have seen a lot of, uh, uh, we have seen the pandemic and we have seen the flooding in a lot of cities. Do you think the absence of local bodies uh, played any role in uh, carrying forward the relief activities here? See, first, to answer this, I must give you a, a bit of a background. Because urban local bodies and panchayats are the grassroots democracy. Any democracy, as far as India is concerned, is more important. A very highly populous, diversified and federal kind of state. Unfortunately, these are the bottom rung of the uh, democratic fabric, the grassroots. This uh, grassroots democracy was not built in as part of the constitution. Actually, though we had urban local bodies, uh, decentralized democracy during independence and even after that, and Mahatma Gandhi had openly said that our entire st power structure in democracy flows from the people, flows from the villages, flows from the small towns. And, but in the constitution, this third tier, most critical tier of democracy was not brought in, in the constitution. Constitution only provided for parliament, central government, union government, and state government, state legislature. So what has happened is democracy has been completely hijacked and completely centralized, almost completely centralized in India before they even thought of empowering the grassroots. That was 1988. Constitution was in 1950. Then Rajiv Gandhi was the prime minister. Manishankar Ayer was the minister in charge of panchayat and local bodies. He gave the idea, but that also didn't take off. Only in 1992, through a constitutional amendment, 73rd amendment for panchayats, and 74th Amendment for the urban local bodies, these grassroots institutions of democracy was brought into the constitution. By the time, much water has flown under the Ganges, Kaveri and whatever river you have. And the democracy has been completely distorted. Basic fundamental principle of democracy is decentralization. If it is centralization, it is not democracy. It is autocracy, monarchy. So, constitution, whomsoever framed it, I don't want to name it. The man has done wonderful things in other areas of constitution. But some or other, the constitution makers blundered in this under a false belief that providing grassroots democracy will create caste problems, there will be castes, uh, lower caste will be suppressed. That was an absurd view in my view because if they have been empowered, they would have uh, come up in the democratic process. So, in 1992, let me come to the point now, your question. 1992, it was brought in through the 74th Amendment. Even now, it is now more than 20 years. Even now, there's hardly, no, uh, 20 years, 30 years. 30 years. It to be 30 years. Hardly, hardly any proper enact, law has been enacted. So they are only go through the motions. So this is only grafting. See, these grassroots democracy, the urban local bodies and panchayas are only grafting. Any grafting, as you know, cannot be like your original. We know uh, Salem mango, mango tree is grafting. It can't be the original. So uh, my feeling is, my uh, opinion is, the, the urban local bodies and panchayas are not part and parcel of the mainstream democracy. So, they take it for granted. They don't give any importance. Routine, state governments. You see, can state assembly election be postponed? No, it cannot be. Can parliament election be postponed? There will be furore. Whereas, state governments, just for women pleasure, because they, do, they, can, they, they can do anything, because it is a separate election commission, separate law, 
they just uh, without any rhyme or reason because they no don't give any importance to the urban local bodies their own they don't want people's participation because again one more point i want to make because it's a very important uh, meeting that we are having you see constitution built in in part 4 directive principles of state policy where it clearly says the control of the natural resources because india was a populous country very limited natural resources the control of natural resources would be with the people they must regulate the natural resources now since panchayat raj was not there urban local but not uh, no, 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 uh, was not there people had no control so with the result it has all been centralized all resources have been centralized even state government does not have much of a control we have a ministry in uh, government of india delhi is controlling i am in kanyakumari district the far, uh, southern most district even to decide what to do here to do with the environmental resources the natural resources to the sea coast or the western ghats decision is taken in delhi local people have no role none of them has been enforced the problem is that that as i told you already these grassroots democracy urban local bodies are being more looked at by as a nuisance by central government and state governments infringement on their uh, on their own powers so i don't think uh, because of the wrong uh, move and uh, sort of blunder committed by the constitution makers this grassroots democracy is not going to take up because there are a lot of vested interests corrupt vested interests have already built up they will not reform the structure they will not make urban local bodies into urban local urban local government unless that is done i don't think anything anything is going to take place yes uh, sir uh, what about amrut which has been uh, implemented from 2015 which has brought in the projects like smart cities and others uh, will it help uh, the local bodies in any way much worse much worse at least when a uh, very good question that you asked i have written a lot about it you see uh, at least there was a fig leaf of reforms when jn and yoram was there and there is something moving going on there was some pressure people people's participation was there and there was some move that is going on but this government came in the center completely finished off everything completely finished off jn and yoram was thrown into the thrown out of the windows and they brought this smart cities smart cities uh, nothing but a technology is uh, called sort of companies to to bring technology fix technology and make it look uh, beautiful and nice it is nothing to do with democracy nothing to do with grassroots empowerment nothing to do with people's participation absolutely nothing it is a centralized planning smart city is completely uh, finished off whatever initiative was there to empower the local bodies in my view amrut is only projects amrut is not the uh, not nothing it was going on earlier the amrut kind of projects have been going on water supply projects drainage projects uh, all kind of road projects all kind of projects but uh, the smart city is completely oh, th- this government is totally centralizing power the present government starting from 2014 they believe in complete centralization they don't believe in democracy whatever little move was there in jnuram towards democracy was completely finished up sir is there any state which gives some priority and importance to the uh, local bodies in the country uh, can you name I, at least one state i i don't think i'll be able to name uh, because the constitutional uh, uh, blunder is perpetuating everywhere there may be some beautification some improvement some uh, towns may be uh, better governed there may be better for instance Uh, towns like indore and some other towns are beautiful looking they are getting rewards but democratic wise i don't think i don't think any state has got uh, kerala kerala is one state i can mention kerala as a even without the constitution they have grassroots democracy from the very beginning they have, they have a participatory decision making process but uh, uh, be, uh, besides uh, um, uh, kerala Karnataka also took good initiatives, but I think they have fallen by the wayside. Tamil Nadu also took good initiatives, but seem to have fallen by the wayside. I don't think any state is really giving uh, the democratic decentralization, because once you have power, centralized power, 
you don't want to give it give the power to anybody <laughs> that's a human weakness unfortunately that seems to have perpetuating as far as india is concerned thank you sir for joining us thank you very much